Despite uh, Joe Biden officially jumping into the 2024 race, former President Donald Trump appears focused on his potential Republican rival, Ron DeSantis. Trump's campaign released this new ad. Ron DeSantis was struggling big time in his primary race for governor of Florida. Polls revealed DeSantis was failing so bad, he was losing by a staggering 17 points. Then DeSantis was saved by the endorsement of President Trump. Trump's support was so powerful. Just two days after the endorsement, DeSantis took a commanding lead and it propelled him to being elected governor. I'd like to thank our president for standing by me when it wasn't necessarily the smart thing to do. You're welcome, Ron. Unfortunately, instead of being grateful, DeSantis is now attacking the very man who saved his career. Isn't it time DeSantis remembers how he got to where he is? Make America great again. Big league. So good. Build the wall. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. Truth is, there's only one person who can make America great again. It's actually funny in there. <laughs> you know, wow. uh, yeah. Uh, Willie, uh, it's not true that Trump is better shot of beating Biden, but I don't think we're going to get going to see Ron DeSantis against Biden if this continues the way it is. It seems that DeSantis is it's just everything he's doing is wrong. He I mean, is he? It seems he, counterintuitive. He, 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 he says he's going to stay in Tallahassee and until the legislative session's over, he's flying across the world, meeting world leaders. It seems like he skips the, yeah. the flooding in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, like it's just just ignores the flooding in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, it's hard to imagine how anybody could botch uh, botch the advantages that he had just a month or two ago. It is hard to watch. We've talked about it many times. Ron DeSantis, when he was running all those years ago insisting his children build that wall with those little mm. red blocks that kids I play know. with. But Donald Trump has him dead to right on this, doesn't he? I mean, this is the guy who depended on Donald Trump, who leaned on Donald Trump, who showered praise on Donald Trump, and now is thinking about or perhaps going to run against him. What's the strategy? What's the contrast? How are you going to go after Donald Trump? If you're not, you don't have much of a chance. Donald Trump knows he's the only real threat. He's doing what he did to Jeb Bush all those years ago, which is to vaporize the primary threat to your candidacy. And so here we are now. And yes, Ron DeSantis not making great moves uh, rolling out his campaign, if that's in fact what he's doing, including a couple of weeks ago, John, signing a six-week abortion ban, which will certainly not be helpful uh. if he ever makes it to a general election. No, I mean, he is shrinking his pool of possible voters. And that's why we're here. So many Republican donors are sounding the alarm here, those who, who don't want to back Trump anymore, who say we do need to turn the page, we need a fresh voice. Those forces were a few months ago coalescing around DeSantis, but now there's a lot of second thoughts because they feel like DeSantis is really hurting himself in a, in, in a general election. I mean, that ad is pretty devastating. To use the old clip there, Mr. Trump says you're fired. Mr. Trump says build that wall. That That's really tough stuff. And, and, and we've seen the Trump yeah. campaign outmaneuver DeSantis so far. In fact, the former president and his advisors are considering the Donald Trump while Ron DeSantis is overseas, might go to Tallahassee and talk to Florida lawmakers oh, there. Boy. That's that's possibility that he's trying to steal more support from DeSantis's backyard. And that's why there are other Republicans looking around right now saying, you know what, maybe there is a lane here. Maybe someone else can be the Trump alternative. And that's why we are anticipating in coming weeks, whether it's Senator Scott, uh, Tim Scott, uh, you know, Vice President Pence, others who may in fact take, who seem to be wavering, may in fact take the plunge because I see DeSantis is wounded. Right. And in, in some ways, for a lot of Republicans, Joe, Ron DeSantis is a microcosm of what they have created. Like they've created this, you know, um, being who um, does what he does, whether he's indicted or has more indictments coming. Um, whatever you think about January 6th, whatever you think about his presidency, you're kind of stuck in his shadow and you can't get out unless you, of course, insult the base. Well, but the thing is, so look to Georgia. I mean, well, I, look at I the know fact that, that a guy that a guy, but Republicans don't know it. I know a guy that recorded Donald Trump. I know Secretary of State who had supported Trump previously, a guy who recorded Donald Trump and is going to be responsible for Trump ultimately being indicted there, mm -hmm. wins in a landslide in in the Republican primary when Trump is desperate to get him and Brian Kemp, the governor, 
defeated there. So you can go up against Donald Trump in a primary and end up winning. And just look to Georgia as, as a prime example. But, you know, Susan Page, let's let's talk about DeSantis for a second and, and follow up on what Jonathan Muir was saying. Yeah, six weeks ago, a lot of people were thinking, this guy's got it. He's going to be able to win. And usually when you're a governor, it's great because you can do what you want to do. But what has Ron DeSantis done as governor? I mean, he's he's decided to pick every fight he can pick. First of all, with Disney, which makes him look stupid. It really does. Outside of a very small base, and Bob Iger is eating his lunch every day so and laughing at him. You know, a six-week abortion ban, and that abortion ban came after Kansas, after Wisconsin, after the 2022 political earthquake of Republicans losing because of abortion in a lot of key races. And yet Ron DeSantis plows forward with a six-week abortion ban that even scares top Republican donors. <laughs> He's really damaged himself. You know, maybe his strength is his weakness. You know, his strength is he had this big reelection in Florida. He has a very strong majority in the Florida legislature. That enables him to deliver on his agenda. But the, as you say, the strength of his agenda, and especially on the six week abortion ban that he signed late at night without press coverage, just mm -hmm. tweeting a picture of it afterwards, uh, tells you that. As with Trump, things that strengthen him among the Republican base could create huge problems for him when, if, if and when he makes it to a general election.